possible to offer. You can't you can't look at my character and say that he's not a real man, so I guess that makes sense. Staying at an end fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. Resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Recited adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risk when traveling far afield. Very interesting. Okay, we'll rest. He's going to use that shield as a pillow. That's a good resting animation. I like that. What are more add-ons required? Added items will be sent to item storage. Item storage can be accessed at any inn by speaking with the innkeeper. Personalities level two, hell yeah. Okay. Okay, sir. I've beds to spare if you're looking for lodgings. And if you'd like to change your vocation, come see me anytime. Make for Melf. I want... There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so I did the thing and I bought the fancy pack not knowing what came with it. And it comes with a lot of these, like, microtransaction stuff. But some of the pre-order bonuses were, like, weapons and rings. Like, starter weapons and stuff. That's a key. Um, Rift Incense. Main pawn at a camp gives a pawn a different inclination. Oh, I see. Deepens a bond. Can edit the appearance. Attracts harpies. Okay. So, do you guys think that I should use these weapons or should we just like YOLO it? They're not. They are a little bit better, but they're not super broken. I don't think that we should use them, right? Slightly boost where is defense and magic defense. I don't need any of this stuff. We're good at this game. All manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the guild hall of a vocation guild. Changing vocation. If you unlock the vocation, you can change to it at any time. Unlocking new vocations will require discipline, which is accrued when defeating enemies and completing quests. Each vocation trains different skills, and you'll be able to learn new skills as you rank within your vocation rises. Learning skills requires discipline. Core skills can be employed from the moment they are acquired, but weapon skills must be equipped before they can be used. Augments. These are special abilities that can be equipped regardless of your current vocation. Augments are acquired by spending discipline and are active from the moment they are equipped. You can equip up to six augments at once. A broader variety of augments will become available as your vocation rank increases. So this is how you get like skills and passives. So we can get like an airward slash where he like jumps up. That's good for flying enemies. Right now as a fighter, I don't have like really anything to deal with flying enemies. And then, like, a bash for that. I can also change to the other vocations. And we can unlock more vocations along the way. True deflect. That basically just gives me, like, a guard break. It's 100 bucks on PS5? What? It was, only, it was only 60 bucks on PC. And we haven't unlocked any augments yet. So, personality. Flagration. She can shoot fire. That's crazy. Why is that $100? Did they up the price or something? It's a thousand gold to rest here? What the heck? Always a pleasure. How am I going to be able to rest in an inn if it's a thousand gold? You are wise indeed to have sought my aid. I didn't though. Oh, he wants me to hire him. Inclination is calm. Arisen details. His name is Capcom. Capcom took an L when they added microtransactions. I'm not interested. Okay. There should be... There's sometimes like a job board. 
65 bucks on Steam for you. On PC. Ooh, a chest. A chest, guys. 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 Aged Scrag of Beast. That sounds like a good material. 75 for Deluxe. Mine was... 70 for Deluxe and then 60 for the base game, I think. I bought it, like, a while ago, though. So I don't know if they've upped their prices. Why is there an exclamation point on the mini-map for this? Do I need to talk to this guy? Maybe he has a quest or something? <laughs> Look at him run up the ladder. <laughs> oh, man. in search of preferable treatment, you'll be sorry. Your head is like to roll ear long. Okay. You didn't have anything for me. I don't know why there's an exclamation point then. I'm also in Canada, so it's going to cost more. Character needs circus music a little bit, yeah. Look at him run. <laughs> Ooh, I can gather this. What is this? You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been played. Ooh, we get to go kill some stuff. Love the Steam reviews, mostly negative. Yeah, people are having performance problems and the microtransactions people are very upset with. Which is fair enough, like. We've had to start sending out new recruits to call them. Okay, I'll go kill some stuff. Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Oh, jeez. I can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. But, like, I'm a fighter and I can't really deal with harpies either. You've I guess. And a Cardo's as well. I'll go, I'll go save him. Setting a priority quest. Select the quest, prioritize them among the, those you've accepted. Display marker on your map. If you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. Pawns of such channels will not offer guidance unless the quest says priority. Okay. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with risk of being unable to act in time. This can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factor of time in mind when managing your current quests and taking on new ones. Which is really cool. Like, the quests don't just wait for you. This is a thing that's happening constantly, right? So we have to go save him, or if and if we don't, he'll, he'll just die. Presumably. So let's go save him. I've just had a thought. We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. So you want me to hire a thief? Okay. Some dead goblins here. Her run as well. Both of our runs are really dumb. Oh gosh, there's already some harpies. I can't really do much with harpies. Pawn commands. There are four commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawn's companions. Their effects vary according to the circumstances in which they are used. Such as when and out of combat, the best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and course of action in various situations. Go, they act independently. Direct pawns is spread out. You also use to request assistance with carrying out action. Press guidance to a location or to instruct a pawn to resume guidance has been interrupted. Okay. To me, approach, direct pawns to fight by my side. Wait, 
Remain where they are until given a different command. Direct pawns to cease attacking and focus on aiding the Arisen. Direct pawns to prioritize support, healing, and recovery. Okay. We'll just say go, because she can actually hit them. Okay, let's not... Let, let's not get sung on by a harpy and fall asleep. Uh, <laughs> she, she's getting taken away. This is the bad part about being a fighter, is I can't really do much to harpies. Unless they come down. They're so creepy, though. So you kind of just run at them, and you... You jump attack. You hope it works. Okay, that one kind of worked. We're gonna fall asleep though if they keep singing. Ow. Is there no lock on anymore? I don't remember what the lock-on button is. Maybe there's no lock-on. I feel like there used to be, though. Okay. Try to grab one. Bolt Squadron's level 3! Any high fives are now. That's cool. Okay, I need to look at controls, because... There used to be a lock-on. And it does not look as though there's a lock-on now. Move camera, reset camera. Pawn commands. Sheath draw cancel, switch weapon skills. Okay, there's no lock-on. Cursor lock. Oh, that's just in-game, okay. Well. That's gonna be hard. Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. We'd best report back. We're gonna actually explore a little bit, pick up some stuff. Look at these berries. Apple. There's a there's a chest over there. I don't know how we get over there. This is how we die. I don't know if we're gonna make that jump, but I'm gonna try to make that jump. <clears throat> For loot. Um, tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk deep in the waters, rivers, lakes, and seas. Yeah, so basically you can't swim in the game. It just has a creature called the brine that kills you, <laughs> essentially. Stability extract. Oh, my pawn must have fell. Personality fell in the water. Ow. Come here. Ow. Ow. I can't get away from her. We're going to fall asleep. Let's try to run. Guys, um, we're gonna we're gonna fall in the water, 
and we're gonna die. <laughs> Debilitations are negative statuses with effects that range from inflicting damage to steady intervals to making the target vulnerable to specific type of attack. Not exclusive to ar arisen in their pawns, but can be afflicted upon their enemies as well, granting a fierce edge of battle if applied wisely. So basically, the debilitation that we're facing now is sleep. And now brine, because we fell in the water. If the main pond becomes forfeit, you need only touch a rift stone to return them to your side. So, yeah. That was, uh, that was interesting. Was the thing behind the chest? We're gonna go look. The thing behind the chest? Oh, the circle thing? What is that? Seeker's token. Interesting. Okay. 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out of the way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall and you'll receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned nor corner of the world unexplored. If you would complete your collection. That's really cool. I always like those kind of like exploration mechanics. Okay, this harpy's very dead. Uh, okay. I thought I could try to climb up that. Nope. Okay, we gotta make this jump. I'm gonna sprint. Well, that's why you can't do it. Okay, there's a ledge. Okay, we made it. We made it. Okay, we should probably go back and get our personality. Do an Iron Man challenge in Dragon Dogma? Well, there, there's no, like, player market, so I, I guess? Haspid. Ripened. Haspid. Okay, we need to talk to the stone. Hail, friend. Many thanks for aiding Akado. T'was a relief to see him return. And none the worse for wear. You got it, Phil. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. 400 XP, 1000 gold, lantern oil. Level 4. Bald Squadron. Plus 3 strength, plus 5 defense. Okay, where's that Rift Crystal at? Over here. Alright, we got personality back. So I think I want to go in and I want to hire some pawns that'll help us. So it just puts you into this rift area and pawns just start showing up. So we want another frontliner. Look at all these mages, holy. I don't want... Okay, there's a fighter. He's kind of like a high level though. It's going to cost 275 RC. Do we have a lower level one? There's a level one fighter. Fanatessa, that'll do. I pray my efforts aid your cause. Is this other players? Yes. Not all of them are other players, but they mix them in. Yeah, so if you look on the left there at the bottom, Arisen Details. Fantis, username Fantis. This is his pawn. So we're going to hire you for free. You have but to ask. And what's cool about it is if I hire his pawn... 
then he gets a reward in game. Pawn quests are task of your main pawn to be completed beyond the rift. Set the task and must stipulate a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive upon the task completion. Pawn quests provide valuable opportunities to obtain items and acquire pawn badges, so you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. When setting a reward for the arisen who hires your main pawn to receive, you can either select specific items or nominate a sum of gold. Items will be removed from your inventory, gold will be subtracted from your funds. It is also possible to trade with other arisen by setting the retrieval of items you desire as pawn quest objective. So you want to make your, your pawn desirable. And if you look at all these guys, the one thing that they don't have is personality. So I don't, I don't feel like we're going to have any trouble getting our pawn hired. Okay, now we need probably either a thief or an archer of some sort. I think an archer would be good. Do we go abbey? The rest of these are just... There's so many mages. I think we go Abby because she'll be free. I don't really like your voice, if I'm honest. I'm not, I'm not crazy about your voice. This one belongs to Tim. Okay, I'll hire you, I guess. You got it, lady. Okay, so now our team is full. We have two frontliners, two backliners. Should work pretty okay. There's still an exclamation up there, and I have no idea what it's for. What ladder are you talking about? We're in the middle of nowhere. Maybe you're talking about that ladder. Who knows? Scary. If you're playing at a risen in search of prep. Okay. You sell potions. I'm looking for armor and weapons, but I guess we're not going to find any. Maybe it's archer only quest? Well, I don't know, because like my pawn pointed it out and the exclamation's been there the whole time, right? I don't know. I don't know how any of that works. There's a goblin. Come here, goblin. Oh, there's another. This guy's asleep. Not anymore. What's this contraption? It's a lot of water. To be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's ought to be found while we're here? We should. We should indeed see if there's aught. Looks like there's uh some stuff over here. Hundred gold. Hundred and fifty gold. It doesn't look like there's more to gather here, so I don't know. I don't know how useful of a resource that was. But okay. A treasure chest. Where? Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Where? I don't like that. I don't like when you tell me there's a treasure chest and then don't tell me where it is. What are you shooting at, Abby?
Look at mini map. Oh, it, it shows it on the mini map. What the heck? It's literally up there. And it shows the gathering point over there as well. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to be able to climb this. We're going to have to figure out how to go around. We'll have to keep that in mind for, for later. There's stuff to gather here, though. That's really cool. Okay. How are we going to get around? I don't think we can. Oh, there's another one. What could yon chest be hiding? I must know. 540G. Okay, I guess we need to get over there somehow. There's probably a way to do that farther down the road. Must you run so fast? Yes. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. I would have preferred not to have to fight Harpies? But at least I know I am up to the challenge. This is why we have a ranger in our party. They just knocked down the harpies. Open the chest for minus one point. Yes, we are healing now. Thank you. I will take that. Okay, there's the other chest we opened. Syrup wart leaf. That's a good name. I'll wager I could make that shot. You cut quite the hunter's figure. All right, let's go to war. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow. Okay, that was a lot of damage there. Well, that's not how you grab. No, it is how you grab. I was trying to grab you. And these, uh, these classes open up a huge amount as you get discipline and you rank them up. They become uh, a lot stronger. Everyone's leveling up. Personality had a vocation rank up. So she'll have access to more skills and stuff. That'll be good. We're off the beaten path now. Can't really climb though. Now we can. What's up here? Stun bloom. Hmm. Now there's a worthy prize. If only to work so far away. Another chest. There it is. Okay. Emergent Vitality. I don't know if these are like books or what the deal is. What? What? What was that? They just jump off the freaking cliff and die? Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero and are unable to stir from when they have left ballin without aid. If you leave your pawn in the immobile state for a prolonged length of time, they become forfeit and will forcibly re remove from your party. The reason can attempt to revive pawn by approaching them and touching them. Multiple pawns lie immobile in the vicinity. The rising can revive them simultaneously. 
all of them just jumped off. What the heck? My thanks. Where would I be without you, Arisen? Dead. That's where you'd be. Jesus, man. <laughs> what was that? It's not even that high. She must have just jumped from the top straight down. That's funny. Okay, I think we want to go the other way here. Because we want to go toward whatever this is. It sh Wait, it shows that there's a path. We want this chest that's over here somewhere. Should we go back to town and try to go the other way and then down? But I guess it links back this way too. Maybe we just go back up. 